Yo, what's up, guys? On today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to get FPS on Locker. You feel me? Now, what is FPS on Locker? Is basically, you should know if you're searching for this video, you should know, but um, I'm gonna just say it either way. It's basically uh, something that kind of gives you more FPS on Roblox. So, yeah, you want to go to Google, basically any browser you're using, and you want to type in FPS on Locker. And once you've done that, you want to find the GitHub link. Um, it should be like this github.com. And then it should have a x whatever the fuck you know you get the point i'm gonna put this in the description um so you don't have to search it but yeah once you've come to this website you want to click on the first one which is a zip you want to click on that and it's going to start downloading it. it's going to say we're scan and then we're scanning your download just be safe you just gotta wait for that and yeah once you've done that you want to i mean i make a folder but you don't have to do this and you could just open it yeah. Um, but, but yeah, you want to, um, open and what was that you want to open your, um, your, the file you just downloaded and you want to click on the Robux Roblox FPS unlocker and it should, this should open and there you go. It automatically just opens, but I extract it to the folder just to not get confused and kind of just not lose the folder or whatever you want to call it so, you know have it right here but yeah that, that's about it um i'm gonna teach you how to get shaders as well but before i teach you how to get shaders i'm gonna show y'all how this fps unlocker thing works i'm gonna go to a private server which is i'm gonna just go to the server right here All right. Oh well, I don't have permission to server. All right. Well, I'm gonna just go to the ultra smallest servers. All right. So once you join a game, you basically open your FPS unlocker. You right click it, not open it, my bad. You right click your FPS unlocker and you go to FPS cap and you cap it to wherever you want. If you click 120 and your PC's that good, that means that expectation, you would see that it's, you know, meeting that expectation. But my computer is not so good. So I'm gonna just, um, you know, so I'm gonna just reach. Out. Uh, hopefully I don't get killed. Um, but yeah. So, anyways, um, yeah. As y'all can see, if you have like a good PC, you should meet that expectation. I'm going like around 90, 100. That's the best I could go. Um, now you see if you go 30, you're gonna FPS cap only 30. It's gonna just like exceed to 30, and it's gonna be more laggier. But yeah, I normally put mine to like 120. 120 for macro and stuff but yeah that's about it um that's all i'm gonna teach y'all for today hopefully y'all did understand this tutorial hopefully y'all did enjoy and it was helpful for y'all but yeah i'm gonna see y'all in the next video take care have a good day peace